Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to talk about the mail merge facility which can help to generate the bulk certificate in Word file using the list of participants available in the Excel file. So let me show you how we can uh, generate the bulk certificate using the Word and Excel. So in this step one we are going to see that how we can get the template ready first and in step 2 we will see how we can attach the list of participants in the word file and print the certificate so first I have to open the word file so when I open the word file I can notice there is a search for online template so here I will search for any certificate template or if I have already one template which I think it may be appropriate for my purpose so that I can attach it is up to you so since I do not have any certificate templates I go to online database in the word template uh, file and I can get lot of template uh, from online and I can choose accordingly so suppose I just take this certificate or any other certificate if I feel that this is not okay so uh, whichever you like you can choose so I take this one and when I select this one it will uh, ask me to create it so I just click on create template so when I click on create template what it will do it will make your certificate template ready in the uh, word file and now you can notice that it is available so you can see already some texts are there and uh, uh, it is available in the different font so that you can change it is up to you so certificate of participation it seems okay only I can change the color uh, you see I made some changes here or if you are not happy with this so you can delete it also and you can print your own uh, font style certificate of participation suppose I am not happy with the previous text so what I did I simply certificate I just write participation certificate, uh, certificate of participation you can see and uh, recipient name so this I'll delete because this I'm going to fetch it from the list which we already have only I can do that I will change little bit the text of my certificate which by default is different so I write here this is to certify that and uh, I just make the font size less or in different format so that it fits this is to certify that and I'll just bring the cursor down and below that I'll write participated in participation participated in webinar slash virtual meeting held on or you can give the name of that virtual session topic open source solution for libraries held on for example 28 2020 and you can make the font size little big if you want only ensure that it does not go in the next page so okay let us keep this font size and the team name if you want to add the name of the team or the text you can add you can present it by you can make it little big so that it will appear perfectly okay so I just make it bold here and I can notice that this is given in the particular uh, one table so 
it is better to highlight the table so that uh, you can move the text here and the, uh, means left and right and I'll make the font size little big so you can see that my text are visible perfectly and here I just write the name of the presenter for example Dhanvantri Prakash Tripathi I have written my name and I make it little big so that it is visible clearly and if you want to give the designation and all so it is up to you like this you can give and uh, on which day the session was conducted so or uh, means on this day you are issuing the certificate it is your decision so I make it little big here so I make it in 16 if you want the color of this particular uh, the text in different let let's say this should be in red so it is clearly visible uh, and uh, then after doing all these you can hide the table borders so that it will not be visible in the certificate and it, it will look uh, good okay so now I have you can see that I have made my certificate ready and here you can do the logo you can either delete this and add your own logo or you can keep that also it is up to you that which one you are going to use so I am using my logo which I have so I just make sure that it fits in the page itself so I give here ok so now we are ready to go our template is ready so our step 1 is complete now let us uh, move to the step 2 so after completing this certificate uh, our next job is to prepare the list of participants in excel file so there are many ways through which uh, we can generate the file uh, one way is that we can collect the list of uh, um, um, participants in excel file through google form or if you have uh, means made arrangement for collecting the data from different way uh, through different method the, so it is up to you how you are getting the detail of the participants so I collected the list of particip uh, participants through google form and uh, that is available with me so I'll be using that uh, excel file so in that excel file let me show you that what are the fields so, uh, must be uh, see uh, in my excel file there is a name then designation institute name so other field you can drop if you don't want only those fields which you want uh, to use in your certificate so you can keep only those fields and remaining you can drop it or you can leave them uh, in the file itself so I have made my file ready and uh, ensure that this particular file is available that means you have saved in the excel workbook and uh, now let us go to the word file and uh, we will go to the mailing that in the ribbon there is a tab mailing and you can see that there is an option uh, start mail merge so I click on this and choose step by step mail merge wizard so when I click on this I can notice in the right side of my window one uh, mail merge option appears with some um, options in this so this is basically the automatic wizard or step by step wizard which has a total six steps and in each step we have to follow the instructions so it will make our work easy so in the first step it is asking me to select the document type so I consider my certificate which I have prepared the template as a letter so I do not make changes here and I click on next so I move to the next option 
here it is asking me that which document you want to use for mail merge facility so I'll be using this particular document which is open so use the current document by default it is selected so I'm not going to make changes but if you are having any other template or you are having your file in different location you want to open that so you can use these two option so in my case I am already using and have opened the document so I move to the third option select recipients this is the third option it is asking me that you take means uh, select the recipients or the list of participants so there are three methods either you can type a new list or you can select from the outlook contacts or if you have any existing list so I have list of uh, participants in my excel file so I click on browse and then I locate my file where I kept the excel file and I'll just open that file so the moment I click on open it will open my uh, means another uh, window where it is asking me to select OK and then it will show all the recipients in the columns so I don't have to do anything I simply click on OK so all the fields and the, uh, its data will be imported in this uh, step number three and uh, then we will accordingly add these recipients in the certificate then I am after adding the list of participants uh, in this I move to the step number four and here we have to add the fields which we want to be printed in the certificate based on our attached list of the participants so I click on insert merge field so I just click and you can notice that whatever the fields were available in my excel file so only those fields are visible so it is now my choice that which field I want to appear so first I click name and then I give comma add comma then one space and then I add another field designation again I add comma and space and in the last I give institute name so I added three field in one uh, one after another and uh, if I want this that this these fields should uh, print in different color so I can choose accordingly the different color so it will look uh, uh, good in my certificate so I have added my fields in my certificate and after adding I completed my fourth step I'll go to the preview and here you can see that uh, uh, yes there is a little bit uh, problem you can say why because the text which we have chosen is little big so it is uh, shifting the text of this particular document to the next page so what we can do we can reduce the size of this uh, so automatically it will adjust you can reduce one more now we can see that our size is perfect oh, and it is fitting also in the one uh, window so you can see that in my one I mean certificate my first recipient name is printing and accordingly I can go to next recipient and see all the recipient who are in my list of participants so accordingly it will print so we are ready to go now I completed my fifth uh, preview I can check if I am satisfied then I can move or if I have to make any changes accordingly I can make changes I can um, adjust the certificate according to my requirement and if I am ready to go then I will click on complete the mail merge so all six steps I have completed here and then finally it's time to print the certificates so I click on print option here and it opens the merge to printer so here uh, there are three fields one is the all so all means all the participants which you added in the list it will generate the certificate for all the participants if you want to generate for only uh, one record then it will generate the current record 
or if you want to generate the record number 1 to let's say 5 so it will generate the record only from 1 to 5 so I click on OK and then it is asking me that in which format you want to print so I'll convert it into PDF and then I'll click on OK so you can uh, means notice now that it is asking me to name the certificate or this particular file so I give it as a certificate and throw it as a desktop so I select save and now it is printing my certificates and once it is over uh, we can check at the desktop our file will be ready all the certificate uh, will be converted in PDF which I can share with my participants or I can send to all participants so this is the method to use Microsoft Word mail merge facility and uh, with the help of Excel file and generate the bulk certificate in one go now the certificate is ready and uh, we can check here all the certificates are ready yes uh, it is um, keeping one is blank because uh, we did not adjust this space so ensure that when you are just uh, making your template ready so at the footer there is enough space so the next page does not leave blank uh, it should not print blank so now I can see that my all the certificates are printed perfectly and now I can send it to uh, participants through mail or I can print it in on a uh, paper and give it so I hope I have been able to make you understand the process of uh, printing the bulk certificate using the word and excel if you have any question or query you can drop me email I will be happy to receive your comments, feedbacks and also the suggestion for improvement of the video. Thank you very much once again.